Looking to elevate your gaming or creative endeavors? Dive into the world of high-performance graphics with our top 7 picks for the best graphic cards. Whether you're a seasoned gamer, a budding content creator, or simply looking to upgrade your rig, we've got you covered. From unrivaled visual fidelity to lightning-fast rendering speeds, these graphic cards deliver the ultimate immersive experience. Join us as we explore the cutting-edge technology and innovative features that make these cards must-haves for any enthusiast. Number 7. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4080 Super While the RTX 4080 Super doesn't impact performance greatly over the RTX 4080, it is considerably better value for money. It's more affordable while delivering that all-important performance boost, despite it being small. If you want a 4K graphics card under $1,000, the RTX 4080 Super is a great choice. But if you want the best of the best, you'll have to splurge on the 4090. Still, sticking with the 4080 Super, you're going to be pleasantly surprised by its performance. Running triple a titles in 4K achieves consistently low FPS and maintains cool temperatures. There's also little margin for error when it comes to power draw if this is a concern for you. Ultimately, if you want a reliable 4K GPU that is incredibly powerful but doesn't peak over $1,000, the RTX 4080 Super is going to be your best bet. Number 6. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 is the graphics card you get when you'll accept no compromises. There is absolutely no contest when it comes to raw GPU performance, especially at 4K with ray tracing. The RTX 4090 is packed with a mind-blowing 16,384 CUDA cores and 24 GB of video random access memory, which will not only play all the best PC games now, but those for years to come. The huge amount of video random access memory is also a huge boon to creative professionals. If you have to do a lot of work in Adobe Premiere or Blender, this is the graphics card to beat at least unless you want to drop thousands of dollars on a pro GPU. One thing to be aware of with the NVIDIA RTX 4090, though, is the power requirements. This baby is rated for 450 watt, so you're going to want to pair it with one of the best power supplies. Number 5. MSI Mech Radian RX 7600 OC Not all graphics cards require you to spend a small fortune. Just look at the Radeon RX 7600, which sets you back under $300 and delivers solid gaming performance. In this day and age, that's an impressive price, especially for those building a budget PC. It's also more compact than many graphics cards and needs just one 8-pin connector, so it's bound to fit in almost any build. Is the Radeon RX 7600 a good 4K option? No but the graphics card still proves highly capable when 1080p gaming. Now, it isn't going to shine in full HD all the time, especially if you're playing games that use a lot of ray tracing effects, like Cyberpunk 2077 or Hitman 3. However, ray tracing is technically supported thanks to the card's Radeon DNA 3 architecture, even if it's probably best to keep it off. Number 4. XFX Speedster Merc 310 RX 7900 XT The AMD Radeon RX 7900 XT has a confusing name. The next higher tier Radeon card is the 7900 XTX, but while the latter is an expensive high-end graphics card that's supposed to take the RTX 4080 head-on, the AMD Radeon RX 7900 XT strikes a much better balance between price and performance. This graphics card can easily power any PC game at 4K 60fps. There are plenty of games where the AMD Radeon RX 7900 XT manages to match the performance of the much more expensive RTX 4080 at a much lower price. And while the Radeon RX 7900 XTX is a bit more powerful than this card, it's not by much. The extra $100 you'll spend on the AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTX is simply not worth it with the performance the Radeon RX 7900 XT offers. Number 3. Asus TUF Gaming RTX 4070 Ti OC Edition 
The best graphics cards are more expensive than ever, with both NVIDIA and AMD raising prices over last-generation GPUs. So if you want a powerful RTX 4000 or Radeon 7000 GPU, you'll have to fork over more cash than ever. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 Ti offers decent bang for your buck, delivering powerful performance for hundreds less than other higher-tier RTX 4000 series GPUs. But even it clocks in at over $800. This graphics card cruises through PC games with ray tracing on it'll have no problem hitting decently high frame rates at high resolutions. Heck, the RTX 4070 Ti regularly trades blows with the more expensive AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTX, even beating it outright in games like Cyberpunk 2077. Number 2. Asus Dual GeForce RTX 4060 OC Edition NVIDIA has finally delivered a more budget-friendly card in the GeForce RTX 40 series lineup with the RTX 4060. Costing around $300, depending on the model you buy, it delivers a decent performance upgrade from previous generations and includes Deep Learning Super Sampling 3.0. That technology helps increase frame rates using AI and 96 4th-gen tensor cores for better game rendering which is especially helpful in open-world games like Elden Ring. Given the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060 is an affordable option for your gaming PC, you'll want to stick to 1080p gaming on this card. It still manages 60-plus FPS at that resolution in most cases, but with only 8GB of GDDR6 VRAM, there's some stuttering at certain moments. However, 24MB of cache and lower power consumption help make up for the limited memory. Number 1. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 Super We loved NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 4070 and its mid-generation refresh. The GeForce RTX 4070 Super is just as impressive as its name suggests. With it, you get the same appealing price tag and add a Lovelace architecture as the original. Only there are 10 more streaming multiprocessors for a total of 7168 CUDA cores with the same 2475MH boost clock, ensuring superior performance at higher resolutions. Extra VRAM also helps to future-proof this card. You'll find the RTX 4070 Super delivers high frame rates in 1440p with ray tracing enabled, and in games that support deep learning super sampling, the refresh rates get even better. Depending on the game, this GPU may even be able to take on some 4K gaming. However, that boosted performance requires slightly more power than the original, so the Super model has a 220-watt TDP versus 200-watt, nothing too crazy. That's a wrap. We hope you had a blast going through our list of best graphic cards. If so, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Also let us know in the comments which graphic card you're planning to pick. Let's make it happen thanks for watching. We will see you in our next videos.